racing now in the Silverton Bolton Nut Challenge. And as you can see, things are starting to heat up at the front end. We saw a naked bike get onto pole position for the first time here this weekend. And Joe Herbig is certainly getting that little envy Augusta of his up to pace. But he's going to be pushed hard by Johan Nokia and, of course, Rian Ferri from the Four Ways Flyers. And look out for the Mantec racing machine of Gareth Action Jackson. Right on the start line now. Oh, someone jumping the start there. You can see edging forward before the lights went out. So watch out for the jump start penalty there. But out front, it looks like it's a Suzuki rider. That's bike number two. That's Vincent Green. So good start there, hole shotting. But will he be able to hold it going into turn number two? He's got 23 very fast bikes right on his tail. Yeah, coming down into breaking markers. Nokia sneaking up the inside right on his tail with Jackson. Hugo Bradfield, another one of the four ways flyers on the back end of Sandra Shelley. She had a great start and leads the ladies' title, in fact, at this stage, right ahead of the other two ladies, Anya Tom Sudan from Milwaukee Racing and Jeanti Ulifier out of no rules. There's Jeanti at the back of the field, but having an absolute jaw out there, there's no doubt about it. Look at Bradfield trying to sneak on the inside early on, going through turn four on the inside, and you can see even the SBK Highway boys are at it. Mark Yiltro and Sheldon Walker having a great run as they head to the top of the hill. How great is it to see these naked bikes mixing it with the full bikes. Look at that, Joe Herbeck on his MV Augusta with the headlight on, switched on, probably on brights, is now leading this race. But uh, watch out for Van Estrom, Johan Nokia, Gareth Jackson, Henny Swanepoel and Vincent Green dropping down a little bit after that great start. And look at Austin Olifier on the Triumph. He's coming through the field, uh, really setting good pace on that little Triumph on the inside. No, not making it stick. And there we go, Rian Free on the naked Z1000 coming onto the front straight, right behind one of the zx Oh! using all the track and more. That's Vincent Green and that's why he's dropping down the field. Yeah, running a little bit wide and a bit too off track uh, for my liking. You don't want to do that on his ZX or any bike, that's for sure. As they head down onto the braking markers, Green has made up some ground again, although he runs wide into turn two and trying to sneak on his inside there. You can see everybody's just trying to get around him. In fact, he's becoming a little bit of an issue there. I think it was Henny Swanepoel who had to sit up there mid-corner to try and avoid the other Suzuki and of course, um, I'm talking about the other Suzuki that Henny Swanepoel should have been on. He's now stepped across onto the ZX-10. So, uh, catch us out a little bit there in terms of manufacturers but going just as well as he always does look at gareth jackson he's right on the tail now he's going to use the power of that old one as they go to the top of the hill but look at that naked z thousand of bradfield showing a good turn of pace but they're all trying to catch this man up front joe herbig dipping into the 109s that's breaking the 10 barrier that is impressive from joe herbig now unfortunately he's timed it right because now at the seventh round of this championship as we've got to ride it down 75 out there steven schlebusch ah oh, the race tire support fan is out so unfortunately didn't go his way it's a great helmet he had on, by the way. That's a Magoo <laughs> replica from Arai. <laughs> yeah. But uh, just going back to my thought, unfortunately, at the front end of this field, you can see with that time there, the 109, he doesn't have to drop into the sub 10s anymore because it doesn't affect him anymore. The rule says after seven races, you stay in this class until the end of the season. And he, like you said, he's timed it to perfection because he's now stamping his authority on this race. Uh, bike number 61, Joe Herbeck. But the dice behind him is certainly heating up. There's about three or four riders. They are miles behind him. They are miles behind Joe Herbeck. This man is in a class of his own today. Day. But that battle for the podium is going to go down all the way down to the wire. The likes of Gareth Jackson, Henny Swanepoel thrown in there, Johan Nokia and Van Estrom. But watching this guy in action, this is so impressive. We've raved about him the whole year. And look at that bright headlight on and all. He's coming now down to the flag. And what a ride from Joe Herbig. Envy Augusta, that's the first time an Envy's won in a long time. Yeah, particularly here on this soil, that's for sure. But great effort nonetheless. Winning out Class A and the Masters, Joe Herbig takes it. Van Estrom takes second place in the Class Bs and wins that one out. And and all the way down, we pick up on Steven Sleebush after a bit of a down in this race. It's just went into turn six, quarter bit of cement, just made it to break a little bit too much, the front just tucked, and yeah, ended up watching the rest of the race from the side, you know. But it's all good, all good, I'm all right, we'll live to fight another day. Uh, time to get some ice cream in there quickly and join us after the break for some more action from the Extreme Festival.